passé. Now we are going to start a second important aspect of Ayurveda and your health. In this series, self-healing Ayurveda management, we are going to put some general guidelines so you can have more information when you are you are doing your Ayurvedic counseling, coaching with me. And also, if you are not doing, you can enjoy it and have some good information. It's also beneficial. Okay, now we are going to um, give more information, some important details, on the concept of Ayurveda as a metabolic process. This we call Agni, A-G-N-I, but we are going to understand this as the general metabolic process. In Ayurveda, you only should eat when we, you are hungry and you always have to have good hunger when you are going to eat. It's important to say that hunger and the willingness to eat is not actually the same always. Hunger here has a very specific connotation that it's uh, imperative, you start to be just like I need to eat and also it's not uh, very selective. When you're really hungry it can be uh, pasta, it can be a rice, it's not going to matter so much because you're hungry. When you're just like oh I need ice cream and this kind of stuff this is more like uh, false hunger. So real hunger it's in a specific it's imperative and it also makes some um, disturbance in your physiological process you can get, have headaches you can have just like fainting you can have uh, um, anger low, um, low, blo blo low blood pressure and all that stuff any kind of physiological disturbance that it goes when you are uh, very hungry and you're not getting food okay so we have three important uh, signs that the hunger it's real it's in a specific it's imperative you need to do it you need to have some some food because you're like not okay with your hunger and also it um, make you feel a little bit of discomfort physiological discomfort not only psychological discomfort. This concept of hungry, it's very important in Ayurveda. Maybe in the West, we feel that uh, feeling hungry is just like a poverty sign. In Ayurveda, feeling hungry in the proper times is a sign of health, a sign of being wealthy. <laughs> if you don't ever feel uh, hungry in your life, According to Ayurveda, you are not a rich person, you are a poor person. Don't worry, we, need, we know how to enhance again your hunger. Um, but this, uh, the first information here is that hungry, hunger, being hungry in life, it's important to be healthy. And when you are hungry, you need to eat. So just like we uh, spoke in the previous video, in the morning, we usually get a little bit of hunger uh, after the sunrise around 7, 8 a.m. More hungry at 10 a.m. The best hunger in the day like 1 p.m. at noon. Some oily, some uh, needing more sugar hunger around 4, 5, 6 p.m. And a small amount of uh, hungriness at 7 p.m. and this kind of stuff, 6, 7 p.m. This is one important concept that if the sun is rising and our hungry is going up and when the sun is at noon, this hunger is at maximum and then it's going down and it's going to sunset and going to sleep. This is the first concept, hungriness. The second concept is about uh, your appetite. During the time that you are eating, you have to be interested, you have to be uh, enjoying the food from the beginning of the meal to the end of the meal, okay? So the hungry, 
is the thing that takes you to the table, you sit and you start eating. When you start eating, it's not uh, uh, anymore the hunger concept, it's the appetite concept that is going to take you up to the beginning, to the end of the meal, being uh, with good appetite. And then there's going to be the third concept of digestion. During the, during the meal, when you're enjoying the food, one of the most important ingredients uh, in this appetite equation is going to be the spices, the condiments, and also chutney and all the stuff. So in Ayurveda, spices, uh, not only salt and not only sugar, make a very, and not only pepper, <laughs> ketchup, mustard and this kind of stuff, make a very important role play a very important role in our digestion because it increases, because it enhances our appetite. So during the meal, you have to be enjoying the meal, but you also have to be just like uh, a little bit light, not so much light that when you finish the meal, you are um, still hungry, but uh, not uh, the opposite that you, when you finish the meal you're just like oh, completely stuck and uh, lazy. I need to sleep. Uh. So when you're uh, eating, your appetite uh, joined with the spices should have a very synergetic act, um, force. In the end, you're going to be um, willing to <laughs> get up. Uh, from the chair without using your arms. <laughs> Usually they say that when you need to just like climb the chair oh, to get up after the meal, it's because you have eaten too much. If you get up so easily that you're still hungry, it's also that you have eaten very less. It has to be somewhere in the middle that you go for like one, two, three, four hours without feeling hungry again. It be, you become satiated. Your hungry is in that moment peaceful. After this, we have the third part of this Agni concept, that is digestion. When you finish eating, there should be no digestive discomfort, like gases, bloating, feeling uh, stuck, or uh, any burning sensation. From the moment that you finish the meal, or just like in the middle of the meal sometimes, to the end of the digestive process, one, two, three hours, four hours later, depending on uh, how much you have eaten in that meal. Usually for lunch, that is the biggest meal in the day, it's going to be around, as an average, three hours. But this average can go easily to five hours to two hours, depending on how the metabolism of the person works. The point is that to have a good digestion, you should, after the meal, help your um, digestive process, your stomach and also liver and intestine, all, all the stuff, with some um, metabolic uh, help. It can be just like chewing some anise or ginger, it can be having some uh, peppermint tea, it can be chewing some, uh, what is the name, cinnamon, it depends on the uh, pattern, the metabolic pattern that your body is following that moment. I'm not here to prescribe it to you directly because I need to know you specifically and if you want to have this specific orientation, don't worry, we can do it in a uh, private, personalized Ayurvedic counseling session. This is the purpose of the, this session, to have these guidelines uh, more um, secure to your needs, not just as general information. And after, during all this um, digestive process, you have to be feeling healthy, happy, without digestive discomforts, without bloating uh, food with the uh, smell, with the flavor of the food. You don't have to be just like 
uh, very um, not lazy but without energy devitalize just like lazy and this kind of stuff and after the proper time depending if it's from the breakfast to the uh, lunch and this kind of stuff you have to be uh, hungry again you have to feel the sensation that the food was completely digested so in the morning this process since it's going to be less food it's going to take less than during the uh, lunch time that is supposed to be the main meal of the day this kind of stuff if the person works at night or cannot be working uh, waking up early in the morning there's going to be some um, specific orientations for this kind of persons uh, we call it night shift but as a general the human body is more suited to work during daytime not at night time oh I'm always used to work at night and this kind of stuff this is going to work uh, as the from the time you wake up to the time that you're going to sleep but it, this is also is better working if it's along with the sun rhythm if your body rhythm it has a specific rhythm it if it joins if it sums up with the rhythm of the natural uh, energy of the sun and the planet it's going to be better but it's not the only way that we can do this okay here we spoke a little bit of about the Agni concept in Ayurveda that uh, in our uh, Namaste coaching, counseling, Ayurveda, Yoga, Jyotish program we start Ayurveda with this basic, the most basic and most important uh, concept the core of Ayurveda, a good digestive process this is the basis of health and how to manage our uh, health and our self-healing uh, through Ayurveda in our daily lives. Okay? Nice to meet you again. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe, share, say namaste in the commentaries. And uh, let's move on to the next video. Thank you for the audience and see you soon. Namaste. Mm -hmm.